Hi, everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Um, today we are going to be reading a book about two different insects, okay? We are going to be reading about the grasshopper and the ant. Now, the story we're going to be reading is actually called The Grasshopper and the Ant, um, and it is a, a fable. A fable is a story from a long time ago that teaches a lesson, okay? Um, and this one is by a man named Aesop. He wrote many, many fables that teach lessons. And most of the time in a fable, the characters are animals, okay? And they're animals that talk and do things that animals can't really do. Um, but the intention is to teach us a lesson. All right, so I want you to pay attention to the characters. What are their personalities like? And I also want you to listen um, by the end and figure out what is the lesson that we learn from reading the grasshopper and the ants. Okay, so enjoy the story and I'll see you back here. The Grasshopper and the Ants, an Aesop's Fable. Aesop's Fables. What is a fable? A fable is a short story or tale that is intended to teach a lesson. All of the fables in this library were told long ago by a man named Aesop. The Grasshopper and the Ants. One warm spring day, a grasshopper was playing in a grassy green field when he noticed a line of ants marching along carrying some seeds. Where are you going with that big load? The grasshopper asked one of them. We're taking these seeds to our nest, squeaked the ant. But it's such a beautiful day, said the grasshopper. Come and have fun with me. No, said the ant, I think you should come work with us. It's going to be a long winter with lots of snow. You had better start storing your food now. Why worry about the winter? It's only spring and there's lots of food everywhere, said the grasshopper as he chewed on a large blade of grass. All through the spring, the grasshopper did nothing except eat and sleep and play. He became quite fat. One day during the summer, the grasshopper saw the long line of ants again. They were all carrying grains of wheat. Where are you going with all that wheat? The grasshopper asked. We are taking it to our nest to save for winter, said one of the ants. You should gather some wheat too. It's going to be a long winter with lots of snow. I have all the food that I need right now, said the grasshopper. Why worry about winter? It's still summer. All summer, the grasshopper did nothing but eat, sleep, and play. He became even fatter. One day, the grasshopper noticed that leaves were falling from the trees. Autumn had come. Among the leaves, he again saw the long line of ants all carrying kernels of corn. Where are you going with that corn? The grasshopper asked one of the ants. The ant replied, we are taking it to our nest to save for winter. You should gather some corn too. It's going to be a long winter with lots of snow. That's too much work, said the grasshopper. Winter is not here yet. And when it comes, I am sure I will be able to find some food. A few weeks later, winter came and the snow began to fall. Just as the ants had predicted, the snow was very deep. This was not a problem for the ants though. They were all snug in their nest with lots of good food to eat. The grasshopper, however, had trouble finding food. He was very hungry and very miserable all winter. By the time winter had ended, the grasshopper had learned a valuable lesson. It is important to prepare for the future. The end. All right, everybody. So did you enjoy the grasshopper and the ant? Now, were they the same or were they different? They were pretty different. Number one, they look very different, right? They're different insects. The grasshopper, is green and how does he get around? He hops, that's why he's called a grasshopper. 
and the ant is black. They're obviously very different. Is there anything the same about them that you see? How they look physically? Well, I see a few things. They both have um, six legs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six legs. Um, that makes, it, that's part of being an insect, having six legs. They also both have antennae, right? On the tops of their heads, and they have two of them. All right, now let's talk about their characters. Um, remember, characters are the people or animals in a story. And when we talk about characters, we usually talk about their personalities, right? What are their character traits? Meaning, what makes them who they are in the book, which often makes the story what it is. Um, so in the story, what are some adjectives? Adjectives, that's a big word. An adjective is a word that describes um, a person or a place or a thing. Okay, so in this case, what are some adjectives or what are some words that describe these two characters? Well, the grasshopper, do you think he was hardworking or do you think he was lazy? He was pretty lazy. He didn't do any work. That whole story, we didn't see him do any work. And what about the ant? Was the ant hardworking or lazy? Oof, very hardworking. The ant worked the whole book, right? Now, um, those are the two main big character differences. One worked really hard and the other one really didn't work at all. Now, who liked to play? The grasshopper. That doesn't mean the ant doesn't like to play. That just means that the grasshopper chose to play. The ant chose to do its work. Now, why is that so important? That's where we get to the lesson of the story, right? The lesson at the end that, that they said in the book was um, that the grasshopper basically learned from the ant and we learn from them to prepare for the future. So what does that mean? What is the future? The future means the time that is going to come. That's not here yet. The past already happened like yesterday, last week, last month, a year ago, when you were little, when you were a baby. Those are all things that happened in the past. The present is happening right now. What are you doing in the present? You're watching this video and you're learning about grasshopper and ant. And what will happen in the future? Well, in the future, are all the things that you haven't done yet that you're going to, okay? That's the time, like, um, later today, after this video, tomorrow, next year, when you're an adult, all of those things are in the future. They haven't happened yet, okay? So we learn to prepare for the future. That means get ready for it. Don't just worry about right now. Do what's right for the time that's about to come or that's going to come a long time from now. So the grasshopper kept saying, it's summertime, why do I have to worry about the winter time? And the ant kept saying, it's gonna be cold, it's going to be snowy, and what does that mean? If it's cold and snowy, there's no food around. The food dies, it can't survive in, in the wheat and the grass, it can't survive in the cold like that. So the ant knew when the winter comes, we're gonna starve, we're gonna be, what is starve? Starving, really, really, really hungry. We're gonna be starving. So let's prepare, even though we don't feel like working, even though we would rather play like the grasshopper, let's prepare and do our work now so that we feel good and we're taken care of in the future when the winter comes. So the ants did that. They worked all summer and all, uh, and all fall and they hid all of their food. They went, into their, they went down into the ground and, um, and they buried all of their food so that when it got cold, they'd go bury themselves down the ground and there they'd have food. And what happened to the grasshopper who chose not to prepare? He had none. And he had to go knocking on the ant's door saying, could you please give me some food? Even though the ant warned him, you better prepare, right? And he said, nah, I'd rather play. So tell me, has, have any of you ever felt like that? Like it's time to do work? Maybe now that you're home a lot, I know that it's, it's very different for all of us being home so much, isn't it? And we don't have our regular routines. Maybe we're getting into one. 
but it's a little bit hard. And we say, I'm home, why should I do work, right? Just like the grasshopper said, it's summer, why should I worry about winter? Well, because we have to do what we have to do now so that if you're in pre-K four, so that you're ready for kindergarten, right? And if you're in pre-K three, you're ready for pre-K four. And if you're in kindergarten and you're ready for first grade, we have to still do what we need to do now to prepare for next year, right? So we learn a lot from him, even though we don't feel like it. I know sometimes I don't feel like it. I don't even feel like getting out of bed. Why? Because I'm tired and I just want to sleep. But what happens if I don't get out of bed? Oh my goodness, I'm going to be late to my class. I'm not going to have my work done. And what if I don't have my work done? I'm going to get behind and I don't want that to happen. So we have to do what we need to do now. So we're ready for the future. Okay. So I hope everybody learned um, a lesson from the grasshopper and the ant. And remember, work is hard. It's not easy, it's not supposed to be. That's why it's called work. And that's why we have the weekend so that we can rest and take a break from it, okay? So there's a time for work and there's a time for play. So let's find a good balance and let's learn how to work and play and be happy doing both if we can, all right? All right, so everybody get to work and I will see you tomorrow, bye-bye.